welcome back to another video uh today we got an open box item i got at the parking lot sale uh it is a daytona three ton low profile uh floor jack from harbor freight don't forget to smash the like button hit the subscribe hit the bell for more two reviews two deals uh yeah as we can see um this uh jack does have an 85 dollar marking um, regular price, I believe, is one twenty nine ninety nine. One twenty nine or one thirty nine ninety nine. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, but this is the the eighty five dollar parking lot sale price, and it's still on a box. Uh, the box is in pretty bad shape, as you can see. You got some damage right there. Um, steel with these uh, seals here. Maybe it could have been a damaged box, and they just decided to throw it on the parking lot sale. As you can see, there's damage on the back there too. Um, all right, let's get to the unboxing here. Um, we got model number DS300LP. Um, item number 64240. This end up, it says 50 to 100 pounds. <clears throat> Low profile, three and, and one quarter. That's the bottom, the, that's this measurement here. Three and one quarter. It says a Tona three ton low, uh, heavy duty low profile, 20 inch maximum lift height, three and a half extra low profile minimum height. It says premium rear swivel casters for 360 mobility, dual piston, rapid pump, dual piston design. All right, let's unbox it. See how, see what this looks like. All right, this is what we have. Um, yeah, I guess this jack's been used. Uh, you can see a few scratches here. Um, it's, it was probably because of this. Most likely for, sh for shipping and all that because there was lift uh, tilted to the side. My guess because these are all loose. This is like somebody used it but um, returned it. Maybe they got a better deal or something. Seems like everything in here, like I said, it is a little dirty. But overall, it seems to be fairly wet, uh, good condition. Actually, it's in new condition. Maybe they just used it once. Let's take it out of the box, see what it looks like. All right, here's the jack that out. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty clean. A few scratches here, but that's it. That's probably because of the shipping, because of these that were just uh, rubbing. Um, little dirty. That's fine though. Everything else is to be in pretty good condition. All right, let's put this in there. like it just had this uh, rubber stop here I guess that's the way it all the way it goes 
I'll say about 20 inches a little bit less yeah about 20 inches I would say from the ground up Then measurements long wise, body itself it's about 27, 27 inches and then wide at the front it's about 10 and a half, 10 and a half at the front and about 15 at the back. And the arm itself, it's about uh, 18 inches. And this part is 4 inches, by the way. 4 inches. And height itself, all the way down. It's about 3, three and 1 quarter. You guys can look at it right there, about three and one quarter. Anyways, let's get this down and uh, let's get this jack down and uh, lift uh, lift the truck up, see if it'll lift it. Basically, as I roll this out, it's very smooth. Um, I gotta say the casters are very smooth. Um, very good quality, feels pretty solid. Bracing it up right there, pretty much effortless raise so just a few and it's already off the ground no effort whatsoever and uh, looks real nice like I said this this jack is like pretty much like a very like a good upgrade from the one that I have And I did leave it there for about 45 minutes as I show you the the phone right there 1102 and then I leave it there um, stop the video and then 1142 so I left it about 40 minutes or so um, raised and I didn't see a decrease I did measure it I just didn't show it on camera but I did measure it and it has no um, did not have any drop whatsoever anyways just thought i'd make this quick video don't forget to smash the like button hit the subscribe hit the bell and we'll see you guys on the next one thank you for watching